Okay, so I'm going to solve this famous XKCD Velociraptor pro problem. Um, you can Google the, the actual question. Um, it's pretty funny, but I want to solve it anyway. So here's the basic situation uh, as described in the problem. So there's a Velociraptor, and it's 40 meters away from a human. And it says that the human can run 6 meters per second. The Velociraptor has an acceleration of 4 meters per second squared, squared, up to a maximum 25 meters per second. Okay, and so the question is, um, of course, you're a human, you're going to run away, run away that way, Velociraptor runs after you, when does a Velociraptor catch you or whoever and devour the human? Okay, so um, this is X. So I wrote down some stuff here. This is the initial X position of the human is zero, the initial X position of the Velociraptor is negative 40, that, that way they're moving that to the right. The human's velocity, it didn't say anything about the human's acceleration, so I'm just going to assume that the human gets up to 6 meters per second instantaneously. Okay, Okay, so let's say that we um, go ahead and sketch, let's make a sketch of position versus time for this, just to see what it looked like. It, the human starts at x equals 0 and has some uh, constant velocity like that, so this is position. The Velociraptor starts with a negative value um, and starts from rest and then will accelerate like this and then once they reach 25 meters per second they, they would do it. So let's put that in blue just so you can tell that's the constant part. And I'm just guessing, I don't know where the, this intersection point is but that's what we want to find. We can find the time and the position that they, that they intersect in. Okay. So I'm going to do this in two parts since I don't know the answer. If I take part one like this, so in part one I have a constant velocity human and I have an accelerating velociraptor up to 25 meters per second. And then part two, they're both moving at constant speed. Okay. So let's find out the position and velocity of the velociraptor once it reaches that speed. So, for the Velociraptor, I have um, first this. I have, let's say, A, I'm just going to call it A, in the, just in the X direction, so I'm not going to draw vectors. A is a change in velocity over the change in time, and this is for the Velociraptor. Velociraptor, not a Velocity Raptor, a Velociraptor. Okay. Um, so, this is going to be equal to V. Velociraptor at time one, whichever that is, minus the initial velocity over delta t. Um, so I know this final velocity, and I know the acceleration. So I can solve for this change in time. It's going to be equal to the velocity at position, the maximum velocity, divided by a. If I want, I can get a value, because that's fun. So it's 25 meters per second divided by 4 meters per second squared. And that does give me a unit of time, um, and I get 6.25 seconds. I already worked that part out. So that's the time it takes right here to get to the, to the maximum speed. Now I need to know first, well only I need to know where is the Velociraptor. So now I can go back over here and say x of the Velociraptor at 1 is x of the Velociraptor at 0 plus Velociraptor velocity 0 delta t plus 1 half a delta t squared. This is your standard kinematic equation. Okay. So I know here the initial x position is negative 40, the initial velocity is 0, the acceleration is 4, and I know delta t. So I can say x at position 1 is going to be negative 40 plus 1 half. Uh, the acceleration was 4, and this is 6.25 seconds squared. And so if I put that in, I get 
That's the position of the Velociraptor at the end of the acceleration time. Okay, now let's go back to the human. Where is the human at the end of this time? Well, for the human, uh, uh, has a constant a constant velocity, so I can just say, uh, I can write it in several ways. I could, I could use the same kinematic equation, but the human has an acceleration of zero. So x human one equals x human zero plus v human delta t. So I'll use that same time interval and find out where the human is. So I get x human one equals zero plus the velocity of the human is six meters per second times 6.25 seconds. And I get 37.5 meters. And so you see here that I said, I'm gonna break the problem into part one where they're accelerating and then part two where they have constant velocity. That's not gonna work, right? Because at the end of this acceleration, the Velociraptor is ahead of the human. So the Velociraptor would have already eaten the human. So I need to not do that, okay? So it wasn't a waste of time because we still need to know that. Um, now I can go back and just use constant acceleration I can, I, my graph will look like this now. I know that they meet while the Velociraptor is still accelerating. So it's just going to be like this. Constant acceleration the whole time. Okay. Okay. I'm going to erase this. Hope you wrote it down. If you didn't, just pause the video. Okay, now it's a little bit easier, since I know the Velociraptor is accelerating, I can write this, x Velociraptor, it for any time, is the initial position of the Velociraptor, plus the initial velocity of the Velociraptor, times t, plus one half a t squared. So this gives me the position of the Velociraptor at any time, t. Okay, just like we had before, because I've been using t instead of delta t. Now the position of the human would be the initial position of the human plus the velocity of the human times t, because the human's not accelerating. So now I have a position function for the velociraptor and the human. And I want to find out when this is equal to that. So I can just set this equal to that. So I can say xv equals xh. Well, that means I can set this stuff equal to that stuff x human zero. Oh, that's zero. I'm going to leave that off. And this is zero. Man, I don't want to write stuff that I don't have to write. Right? Right. Okay, so now I have x v zero, the initial position of the velociraptor, plus one half a t squared equals velocity of the human times t. Now, you, you know, this is an equation I want to solve for the time. I know everything but the time. Those are all values. So this is a quadratic equation. So here I have, um, let's just rewrite this as 1 half a t squared minus v h t plus x v zero equals zero. So now I have in the form of a x squared plus b x plus c. So this is a in the quadratic equation. That's B in the quadratic equation, and that's C in the quadratic equation. So I can use my normal quadratic equation solvers, which I'm not going to show you, but you could do that on your own, um, and put in my value for A right here. So I'm going to have this, uh, in my quadratic equation, A is going to be 2. In my quadratic equation, B is going to be negative 6. And in my quadratic equation, C is negative 40. Right. If I put that in the quadratic equation, it actually gives me uh, two values. One of them is a negative time, and the other one is T equals 6.217 seconds. Now, you'll notice that, that before we had these meeting at 6.217, well, we had the final velocity of the, 
the final, the time for it to get up to its final speed at 6.25, so this is right before that. Okay. That's good. Okay, if I had gotten a time later, then my, I made a mistake in my first part. So now if I know the time, I can find uh, both of these are the same thing. I can just plug it in right here. X human equals uh, the velocity of the human times T. So that's going to be 6 meters per second times 6.217 seconds. And that gives me 37.302 meters. And that's the location of both the human and the velociraptor. And you can check. You probably should put in the same T up here, and you should get the same position. Because that's what we said. 3.21. That's right. OK. So that is less than our previous solution of the position of the raptor at that final speed. So again, we said they, they meet before the velociraptor finishes speeding up. So that is the XKCD velociraptor problem. I hope you enjoyed it.